Good morning, happy Halloween, or afternoon, depending on what time you may be watching this today. I wanted to start off my nails. As you can tell, I did them last night. They look shaky, but I am a witch today. Um, I wanted to show you that I did them very lazily last night. I didn't take off the nail polish that I was wearing before. And it kind of created a cool 3D bump effect, which goes great with the witch costume. I used a dark purple color. Um, later on, I'm hoping to show you how to do, um, like, how, or at least how I do my witch's makeup quickly. And I'm not a beauty blogger. I'm the type of person that wears makeup, like, maybe four times a year. And that's it. All right. But first, my, my magic has not kicked in yet. So all I need to have a brew. I have the dark, the dark brown roast kind this morning until that kicks in. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Guys, yeah, sorry, I know it may be a little more difficult to see from this angle. It's the best angle I can get right now. As for my hair, starting with hair chop, if I have time, I may curl it. But this is really, should be really quick and easy. Please excuse my cat. Okay, how do you get this in? Okay. She is not getting dressed until way later today. Alright, so the two colors I'm choosing today, purple and green. Like I said, my nails are purple. So that goes well together, and um, green I just feel like goes with witches, so there we go. May we begin? Guys, I can't see. I'm not a very obedient learner, at least not yet. Oh my goodness. Good, good. So I just go like this. It's actually a lot easier when the chalk falls out like that. Let's see. Just do a few strands at a time. Pause. This has not been cutting the entire time. Okay, so. Um. Halloween video. Hair chalk. Break off a piece. Color your hair with it. The end of this piece just waiting i'm just kind of waiting for this purple chunk to run out said it's now 6 11. i am on a very limited schedule so as far as the hair chalk goes this is good enough talk to you guys all right, for this very quick makeup tutorial of how to be a witch, all you need is a mirror. Um, and set it up so you can see yourself. I just had this. Okay, hang on. There we go, so you can see your face. I'm using a brain filling mac on again. Um, and quite literally, any makeup that you have. So... I love my number seven skinny illuminator. I got it while in Ireland. It is great. I like to rub a little bit of this on my face first. Ah, too much. Oh well. There we go. Sometimes that happens. You really need like <laughs> like a quarter of that amount. Um, but we shall see. So just rub it all on your face. Oh my goodness, the lighting is not that great, but hey, that's okay. If they come out scary, I'm a witch, I'm supposed to look scary anyway, right? Positive thoughts, okay. Um, get it rubbed in the best you can. Um... Then, ta-da, that's it. Um, concealer, 
I just use it on, um, well, anywhere I'm breaking out, really. Um, although I'm a witch, so I might not need to do that. And under my eyes, and that's about it. Sorry, my hair is getting in the way now. As you can see, I did curl it. I'm not, I'm still not sure if you can see the color or not. I'm just going to pat under my eyes. Hide those tired lines. Um, yeah, concealer. I use Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I think I got too much because now it's not looking in. I also, um, I don't always like to wear my glasses. So I have glasses, um, like marks on me. So I like to go near my eyes and then up and try to conceal where I have those marks. On there, your eye, you want to use your pinky um, because it's not as strong, so you won't damage your eyes. I learned that by going to a Mary Kay session. Interesting things you learn. Or maybe it was your ring finger, but one of the two. Okay. And then as for my um, foundation, I use liquid foundation by Neutrogena, the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. I just like to get a little bit all over my face. I know this is not technically how you do it. I just take a, um, a Q-tip, dip it in, and... Just dab a little bit all over my face. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, pop. Put it there, rub it in. Like I said, I do my makeup like once a year. So I'm good. Uh, well, more, more than once a year, but you get the idea. Not very often. So I know there's other ways to do it that are like more proper. I just do not do them because I am... A mix of, well, right now, I don't have a lot of time. And, like I said, I'm also kind of on the lazier side, especially when it comes to face makeup. So, that is why I don't do all, like, the beauty techniques that you're supposed to. That's a lot more of a tomboy than a girly girl. So, there's that as well. I don't know. Okay. I got, um, for my eyeshadow, um, I learned this from a friend who's really into makeup. You can use concealer as an eyeshadow primer. Alright. I got my eye palette at the Spirit Halloween store. So... Just choose whichever colors I think I'm going to do. I think I have green and purple, which I think are the two I'm going to do. So green. Where the heck? Okay, so green. Here we go. Okay, because this is apparently just glitter. I will fix that with more concealer and foundation in a minute. Um, yes, for the purple. Oh, now, okay, now I get what I was supposed to do. I'll bet that it was supposed to be like a, um, a blended thing. If I had have read the directions, I would have known. Okay, well, I'll work on blending that in a minute. Um, left side, again, try not to stub your eye. The fort. It could also be the person applying it. Okay, so this is how my eyes look when they're done. Um, and so, as I was trying to finish telling you this morning um this is all you do for your makeup so you put um the rest of it after the eyeshadow and everything cover any mistakes up with concealer then you just put your mascara on
like so. This is usually where I end up stabbing myself in the eye. And then your lipstick. And you are done. I like to use a lip crayon underneath as a liner. liner on and then the actual lipstick over 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 the top actually the liner honestly is probably enough but Pop your lips together like this. And you are done with the makeup. All right, you guys, I am in one of the scariest parts of my house, the garage. And um, tonight, I just wanted to share with you some Halloween tips for safety. Always walk with a flashlight. Ooh flashlight um so you don't get ran over in the dark um what else if you have any of those like flashy necklaces those are great stay with your parents um if you have pets a light up leash uh bright clothes especially with candy make sure you check it first make sure it's not open and oh man those are all the tips i can think of right now Anyway, happy Halloween, you guys. I hope you have a fun, safe night. 